today we will be discussing uh, mobility and the SIDs required for uh, doing uh, measurements of handover and how handover triggers, how all the event triggers and details about mobility. So the, uh, basically the topic would be uh, LC mobility versus SIDs. Uh, I hope you know about the SIDs system information block or system information bits. So we require them, we require the information of SIDs for doing any reselection or handover in LT network. So let's go for it. So I have done some pictures. Let me elaborate this. That will go. This is this this line is an imaginary line I have drawn. This is a LT frequency one or one frequency of LT network. What are the handovers? can happen here one is intra e node b between different sectors of e node b intra e node b handover or we may have two other e node b if x2 interface is there x2 handover or s1 handover through s1 or reselection then the second picture for the, this imaginary area is lt frequency 2 so we can have reselection or handover to LT frequency 2 or you can say section uh, session continuity also to frequency 2 third one is the WCDM area we may have a reselection towards WCDM network uh, session continuing or coverage triggered or IRAT handover then we are having the GSM area then we are having CDM at 2000 area so first of all we have to understand when handover or reselection required so when our you know nearest serving cell is experiencing we are experiencing a bad coverage from the nearest cell or bad SINR we start measuring the other frequency so there is events which triggers as per our experience or the UE experience of coverage or quality of LT network so A2 is a triggering point when we really start then we start measuring other frequencies because my frequency is, is bad certain threshold my frequency is really getting bad for a particular measure time and i'm getting a2 trigger that my coverage is really bad or quality is really bad i need to start measuring other other frequency or the same frequency or the other technology i that for if i'm in a connected mode I used to report RSRP and RSRQ all the time. So through this, we are having different algorithms, and uh, we trigger the events, and you know, we we do the handover or reselection, whatever is required. So RSRP, RSRQ is continuously monitored in the uh, in the uh, connected mode. In the ideal mode, also, if the uh, nearest observing cell coverage is bad, we need to do cell reselection, maybe. In the same frequency of the LT to the other frequency of LT to other IRAT frequency also like WCDMA, GSM or CDMA 2000. So A2, here I have written all the events A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, B1 and B2. So A2 is uh, triggered when we are, we are we need to monitor other frequencies when handover or reselection is really required. A1 is stop measurement. We no need to do any measurements because my coverage is adequate, very good. So I need no need to do any inter intra frequency or inter right measurements. So A2 where it triggers and I start measuring my neighboring cells. So in the first place, we may have a intra cell or intra e node B handover. Same e node B, I change from one sector to the other sector or maybe inter e node b handover if x2 interface is there it's easy otherwise we can do through s1 so it is inter e node b then it is intra e node b handover inter e node b handover then inter e node b or the other frequency the f2 so we can have session continuity or coverage triggered uh, reselection or we may have interfrequency handover. So what is the session continuity and coverage trigger? These are basically additional features we need to buy from the 
a vendors if we are customer we can buy buy this features so session continuity means we no need to do any measurement of the target frequency or the target cell and we can directly reselect if my coverage is really bad no need to do the target cell or the target irat frequency measurements i can do the uh, reselection immediately or we can have a handover if it is in the connector board so this information will be receiving from sif5 that will give us the lt different frequency information to make a handover reselection lt same frequency within f1 will be uh, requiring the siv4 system information with spor system information block 4 there we can get the information of you know inter uh, intra frequency uh, stuff the you know uh, neighbors and these things then uh, sif3 is for common cell selection reselection parameters now moving forward towards wcdma a2 trigger and uh, you know b1 trigger means my coverage is bad subic cell coverage is really bad a2 trigger and b1 means my irat is threshold better than the subic so combinedly b1 and a2 i'm able to trigger b2 irat handover if i need to do a reselection or the session continuity i can do if i need irat handover b1 has to be triggered till the time b1 conditions meet we can do a handover to wcdma network irat handover and that information we can get from sip6 then same way if i'm trying to do a you know session continuity or uh, coverage triggered reselection i can get the information from sip7 and if i'm trying to uh, if i got some frequencies of cdma 2000 when my subic cell is bad i can get the information through sip8 so this is all about the mobility and uh, the sips related to it mobility versus system information blocks again i'll summarize when a2 trigger we start measuring other frequencies or the same frequency or irat frequencies we do a a3 handover a3 is a uh, basically intra frequency handover maybe from the same uh, node b or to the other node b where x1 or x2 is there or where i don't have the second frequency i normally choose the seven a3 a5 is required for inter frequency handover to the other frequency b2 for irat handover and for reselections and handover for all the details we can follow this sip c3 for common uh, cell uh, selection reselection information c4 for lt same frequency c5 for lt different frequency c6 to get wcdma information c7 for gsm and c8 for cdma 2000 thank you so much for watching please do comment after watching this video thank you so much have a great day bye bye